Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about a very simple way you can make some gold right now in World of Warcraft. This is something that is linked to the Burning Crusade and in my opinion, it really became interesting with the new region-wide auction house now that all the different commodities are region-wide. Basically, when you are playing in the Burning Crusade, you have a reputation uh, from Shatrat City called the Lower City. And in order to upgrade this reputation, you can use an item that you can farm or buy on the auction house. Uh, this is the Arakoa Fever. And basically, when you're using this item, uh, you will like be able to upgrade the reputation up to Honored. So this is really a good way to like get started with the reputation. And this is why a lot of people are buying these different favors. All you want to do is to come here in the lower city. Just go up in the trees and you will have this guy over there. He's just turning right now. Uh, called Vekax. And what you want to do is really just come. Talk to him and he will then uh, offer you the quest again and again and again. Each time you need to give him. 30 of the Arakoa Fevers, and in exchange, you will get 250 reputation points, and also you will get each time a cash. And in this cash, you can get different type of items, including some very, very cool transmog items that are, for most of them, unique appearances, and so very interesting items. Please keep in mind that in order to do this, uh, like, uh, farm, in order to actually get the different cash, you will need to do it on different characters if you want to open a lot of them because on each character you will be able to open only 33 of these different caches because after that you will reach Honored and as you can see, you cannot really uh, interact with him anymore. Also, keep in mind that you will need to have a character that has like a end of level uh, linked to the Burning Crusade in order to get the quest. So for instance, you cannot do it on a level 10 allied race and also this is not something you can do on a trial uh, icons. So unfortunately, this is only something you'll be able to do on all your characters that are, I believe, level 20 or uh, more. So do you have two main ways? Um, and the first one is really going to be by farming all the different favors. So as you can see, the favors sell really well right now. Uh, you can sell them on average for 16 to 20 gold on European realms, and they sell extremely fast. In order to farm these different favors, in my opinion, the easiest is to go in the Terracor forest next to Shatrat. And here you have different villages that you can go and really kill all the Arakoas there. So you have one here, uh, you have one here in the north. You also have one here really just next to the city. And then you have a big one over there. So these are, and one there, but these are all the main villages that you can really farm. What I would recommend is, especially if you're doing it on a druid or something like that, maybe just like kill everything, move to another one and then come back or just like try to do it with other people. Uh, so the mobs are postponed, but really this is something you can do solo or in a group. It's really up to you. When you sell all these different favors, you can either again sell them directly on the auction house or you can try your luck and just provide, you know, all the different things to Vekax and then get the different cash. Again, in this cache, as I'm going to explain, you have different type of items that can be extremely, extremely valuable. And so what I would also recommend you to do, especially if you're not into farming all these different favors, is simply to buy some of these favors from the auction house and try your luck with the cash. This is what I've been doing personally, and I've been able to get a lot of very good items. And so I think this is definitely worth doing. So the cash you will get when you achieve the quest is called the Outcast Cash. And basically, each time you will get some gold, a healing potion, a scroll. You will also get one of the belts. So the belts are really not that rare. And then you have a really small chance at getting some of the boots. So the boots are really the most valuable items you can get from this different cash. When it comes to the value for the plate belt on European realms, it's going to be between 2,600 and 5,000 gold. And on US realms, it's going to be between 900 and 1,800. For the level one, it's going to be between 8,000 to 16,000 gold on European realms and 5 to 8,000 gold on US realms. For the cloth one, it's going to be between 2,300 to 4,000 gold on European realms and 4,200 to 7,000 gold on US realms. And for the male belt, it's going to be between 5,000 to 10,000 gold on European realms and 6.8 to 10K on US. 
When it comes to the boots, for the plate boots, it's going to be between like 179 to 200k gold on average on European realms and 600k gold to 800k gold on US realms. Of course, these values are definitely uh, too overpriced, but still very interesting item. For the cloth one, it's going to be between 17 to 57k gold on European realms and 108, 188 on US realms. For the level ones, it's going to be between 85 to 170k gold on European realms and 44 to 57k gold on US realms. And finally, the male boots are going to be between 130 to 189,000 gold on European realms and between 400 to 500k gold on US realms. Of course, it's very important to mention that these are like transmog items and these are like boots and like belts, so there are not the, the items people are gonna like spend thousands of goals on. So it's definitely gonna take some time for you to sell these different items. What I would recommend you to do is we really just try to like open a few, try if you can get some of these rare items and then just like wait for them to sell before like farming more. Of course, if you can get all the different boots, it's the best, but really it might take some time. And so just see if you want to invest a little bit of money in these different cash or not, but be aware that these items might take some time to sell. So yeah, I've been, I'm pretty happy with all the different loots I've got, especially these different boots. I will see if uh, they sell fast or not. I'm sure they will sell eventually, but again, it can take maybe some weeks, some months, or even sometimes some years. Uh, I'll just post them on the auction house and I'll see if someone wants to buy them at some point. So that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Keep in mind, you can either do some gold by farming and selling the different feathers or simply by using the feathers and opening the cash. Or if you don't want to farm at all, just like me, buy the feathers on the auction house, open all the cash, and maybe you will be able to get some rare transmog. I will be back very soon with more videos and with more guides. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great start of the week. Bye.